This video will demonstrate how to create a plan drawing in the Visio interface. I have a project file open here. I've got the uh, project editor docked on the left side and Visio interface on the right side. I'm going to expand this full screen for right now and um, talk about inserting a floor plan. That's generally what you're going to want to do on a plan view page. So um, right click, choose insert. Um, the reason I chose the plan view page to base my page off of is because it will inherit all of the drawing scale, the page size, which is a good idea if you're dropping a floor plan in. Mark it as a background page, give it a name, and hit OK. And a background page will appear here, and you're going to be prompted to pick a page type. We're not going to really be dropping any six shapes on this page, um, on the background page itself, but since we're doing a plan view, eventually we'll choose plan. And here on the background floor plan, you can go ahead and um, add your floor plan. Um, you can insert a CAD drawing. You could insert a PDF file. Uh, make sure that works. You know, hit save after you insert it. Make sure there's not any issues saving it. Um, sometimes uh, people insert JPEG images of floor plans if they just have a scan of it. Um, or you can also draw your own floor plans. Um, there's built right here in uh, to Visio a um, stencil here over uh, under building plan for walls, doors, and windows. You can draw your own if you want to. In this example, I'm going to insert a um, CAD drawing. So from the insert menu here, I'm going to click CAD drawing, and we'll go find it. Hit OK. And um, this CAD drawing properties window gives you a preview, and it doesn't look good right now. Uh, the page size is this big, and the CAD drawing is this big. It's going to be massive. Now, that can be how the... the file uh, was given to you. It all depends on how the architect created it, what scale they used, how they saved it, what they created it in. Um, you know, CAD drawings can be created outside of AutoCAD. And um, right now we can see that there's a problem trying to import this. Um, generally what you want to do is check architectural quarter inch equals a foot. That's a pretty much a standard for a lot of drawings. And that's simply just not going to work here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to just choose custom scale to make sure it fits on the page. Um, Go ahead and click OK. And now that the floor plan is here on the page, we can go to the plan view page and we'll now link that page to it. So the floor plan won't actually exist on here, but it's going to be where we drag our shapes over to. So I'm just going to right click, um, choose uh, page setup. And instead of it being linked to the background title frame, which is the default for displaying your title frame, we'll go ahead and link it to the background floor plan page. Choose OK. And now the floor plan is showing up here. Um, you can't select it, which is nice. Um, it won't accidentally be moved. It won't accidentally be deleted from the page. And now you can drag shapes over. So uh, let me go ahead and dock this back over. Since I'm working on a single monitor here, I'm going to zoom into the area here, the uh, covered porch. Go ahead and get a little closer there. And uh, over here in the uh, project editor, I'm going to drag over the products that I want to display on the um, floor plan. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to a quick filter here and find the covered porch. And now here's just the products that we've assigned there. And I'm going to go ahead and pull over this camera. And you will see that it drops a uh, icon to represent the camera. It has its component ID. If you double click this, it of course will open the product editor for this and show you um, what it is. And you can take this now and you can rotate this if you want, position it. You could drag wires over here. Uh, speakers are common to drag over onto a plan view page. Um, wall plates, things like that. And here is an example of a finished floor plan with all the icons dropped. And uh, here is another example of a um, floor plan that was uh, drawn directly in Visio to sc scale. And all of the uh, six shapes here are to scale as well, including the speakers.